up ladies and gentlemen. Today you're going to learn how to do glove down heel side 360s. Okay guys, so I want to stop saying guys so much. Dude, who cares? I do. Okay. Alright, so to do this trick, you need to know two tricks. You need to know your Coleman 180s, and then you need to know your switch toe side 180s. All gloved down. That's that. Second thing you need to know is your foot position. First, you're going to have your back foot hanging off the heel side just a little bit, so you can get that heel side 180. And then, your front foot your toes are going to hang off the rail just a tiny bit. That way you can get that switch toe side 180 without having to shuffle your feet in between the slide. <laughs> Alright, the third thing you need to know is the wind up. I'm a goofy rider, so when I wind up for this, I want to wind up for my heel side spin. So, my left arm is going to come back, my right arm is going to come across my chest. And then you're going to rotate your shoulders first and then throw your arms. So you're going to rotate like this. This is heel side. And then regular is this way. Goofy. Regular. Okay, as you're winding up, you're gonna lean on your toe side edge so you get a toe side carve. That's gonna build up your momentum a little bit more. And so, you're winding up on that toe side edge, and then right as you're about to unwind, you're gonna wanna lean really hard on your heels. That way, the board just slips and slides out really quick. As you unwind, you're gonna lean on that heel side edge and throw your front hand down right next to your front truck. And so you're going to do that Coleman 180 and leave that front hand on the ground, still sliding. Now, to do the switch toe side simultaneously out of your Coleman 180, you're going to want to push against that front hand, push against the ground, as you push your front leg, which is now your new back leg, you push it out, because that will make the wheels break free. Like this. This is, this is the motion, pretty much. A really important thing about this trick, to make sure that you lean forward a lot, because if your butt is in the air, like almost straight up, that's pretty much spelling a high side for you. So try to stay low, try to kind of get in the push-up position. And as you come out of the rotation, a lot of the time people tend to fall over their toe side edge because the momentum of the spin just keeps them wanting to like rotate. When you come out of it, you're going to kind of be up in the air and you're just going to float for a second and then you want to drop back down, like sink back down onto your feet, like bend those knees because that will center your balance again and let you hook up straight. So the way I'm explaining this trick is to do it all on one hand, which is your front hand. Now, it's okay when you're doing the switch toe side 180 to put two gloves down if you kind of lose your balance. That way, it makes it easier for you to just push off and get back on top of your board. But after a while, to make it look a little steezier, try to make sure that left hand is just kind of hovering above the ground. You have it there just in case you're about to slip out. But for the most part, it's all on one hand. Common problems people might have. A lot of the time, people do that Coleman 180 and just get stuck going straight and switch with their hand trailing behind them. That's because they didn't shift their weight to the front foot, your new front foot, which for me is my left leg. Now, if your weight stays on those back trucks, they're not going to slide. So you've got to make sure that when you come out of that Coleman 180, you kind of lean forward a bit on that left leg, positioning yourself on the front truck a bit more. That makes it really easy to push those back wheels out. guys that's how you do the glove down heel side 360 you got to make sure of course you're gonna wear gloves I got g-form knee pads underneath my pants that's why you can't see them and helmet most important thing in case you high side gotta love your board treat it good and it'll treat you good take it easy guys ah! Ah! <laughs>